is a very brief look at creating wine bottle labels in sheets of eight. It's a template master to create your own wine bottle labels, but you can use it for any set of labels that come on those uh, pre-gummed sheets that you can get from Amazon and other good suppliers of office stationery. The stock labels that are used are available from Amazon, and this is a standard A4 sheet size. There's eight labels per page. The measurements come on the front of the page, so it's really easy to follow them. If you use US letter size paper or any other size, simply adjust the document to suit. Now, step one, create the label. Obviously you need a label, but this is just the way I went through it. Now the label example is created in Affinity Photo and it's exactly 67.7 by 99.1 and exported as a PNG file. You can create your actual label in Affinity Photo and I'd recommend using that. You'll see I've got the exact size um, in highlight there in the transform panel in the studio and the boundaries are marked clearly around it there and of course soggy bottom, sabol blank, cow pasture vineyard Suffolk that's my own little vineyard so obviously don't use that one you use your own you'll see there's a number of layers in, the, in that label some turned on, some turned off and that's what you normally do go through that process until you have the label exactly the way you want it but it must be that size now let's go and create the template in Affinity Publisher. Create a custom preset by simply using the A4 landscape um, preset that's already there. Uh, the A4 portrait, sorry. Change it to landscape and it will reset the custom size. And you can rename it then as I've done there. A4 landscape wine labels. You need it landscape because that way you can see what's happening in the document and it will print out correctly and that way you've got a preset it's there when you need it again now create the guides because you've set the preset you've created the document you've got a master and a single page now select the master don't put your guides into page one because you have to go back and do it every time if you have more than one page put it into the master so select View Guides Manager and add the following guides that I've got listed there by clicking on the faint icon of the page in both horizontal and vertical columns. Why they make it so faint I don't know. There's somebody in Affinity, Sarif, with very good eyesight because those little icons are nearly invisible in some places. However, enough griping. Put those measurements in and you will end up with a set of guides that look something like that in your master page master page with guides something like that it should look exactly like that and you can see I've got the master page um, selected there now place picture frames in each label area each of those areas are defined I've got page 2 selected there because page 1 in this particular document I've already populated but I wanted to show you um, how I go about populating each page and that's by putting a picture frame in each area defined by the guides and you can tell they're guides from master, the master page because there are dotted lines, they're not solid lines and they don't print out of course. Now ensure each is the right size. As you place each picture frame in there they should snap to the edges but you can check that by checking the height and the width down in the Transform Studio. Step 7. Label images. If you haven't created your label images already, do so now. Make sure they're exactly 67.7 by 99.1. Not even 0.1 out because it will make a difference on the printed sheet. They're fairly fine tolerances on that sheet of paper sheet of uh, label paper so make sure your images are the right size and you can see that that layer is locked export it as a PNG file if you haven't done so already 
because we're nearly ready to go. Step 8. Place the picture in the picture frame that you previously placed on the document. So you now have your first label in position 1 on the sheet. Simply repeat the process until all labels are filled. You'll have 8 labels and you can mix them or match them. I've got all red regent there. In one other I've done previously I had regent at the top and Savoie Blanc on the bottom row. You can do what you like in that regard but those images you can see are exactly in place. Now print them out. Print out one sheet. Now when you've created the preset you may have inadvertently got something like 22 or 32 pages <laughs> or even 12 default. How do I know this? Because I made the mistake of not selecting current page and ended up with 22 blank pages coming out of the printer. So make sure when you go to print make sure the range is the current page or page 1 if you're on page 1. If you do have 12 different sets of labels make sure you're, so you've selected the page you want to print. OK, and that's it. Place your paper in the printer, shiny side down if it's the usual inkjet printer, and print your first sheet. And if you've got photo paper and it's an inkjet printer, you'll come out with a really nice image. Lovely labels that go well on the bottle. That's it. Remember that when you come to print these out, your printer will undoubtedly give you grief. I've yet to see one go right first time. I've yet to see a printer that behaves itself and you end up using a ream of sample prints. Don't use your expensive label paper. Use old printer paper. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the use of these labels and I hope you enjoy your wine or your beer or whatever it is that you're labelling. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it.